And hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Dyson Sphere Program. I figured I'd come and give you guys a little bit of an update as to the progress I've done on getting everything updated. Let's just get that called in. Before we go back to the other world, uh, this is the Mega Iron Smeltery. As in, it's big enough that, uh, well, I'm not bringing iron ore f over fast enough to fully feed this thing. But that's, that's perfectly fine. I mean, I'm blowing through a lot of iron plates at the moment. I'm going to be building this for pretty much every uh, base resource. Titanium, copper, iron, coal, basically what's going to happen. Uh, this is the first of the base resources I've got set up. I'm just... You're done, so good. Uh, you can go in there. And I can pick you up, and then I can show you guys what I was doing. Over here, this is every building that I think I might need. Every single last one of them. Manufacturing, start to finish. This is not, however, manufacturing. Basically, when it comes to it, these buildings over here is everything over here. This entire tab is represented by all these over here. And I'm just starting to work on all the components. I just got iron done. Next is going to be the magnets, then steel, gear. I'm just going to go down this way, get all these set up. And then next one, and then next one, and then next one and you get the idea until up until we have everything so it's time consuming repetitive but there's nothing I can really do about it so yeah so since uh, I've got that explained I'm just gonna get back over here and well from there, we'll turn around and we'll go into the uh, other world. And uh, Actually, you know what? I did the other world last time, so I think this time around, I'm just going to turn around and... Uh, that's titanium, so... yeah, I think I'm just going to basically continue what I was doing over here. And you guys can uh, watch along. Okay, uh... You can just delete any litter that's kicking around. You're calling in 16,000 iron ore at a time. Okay, so the next one on the category is magnets, is what we're going to be working on. So that, I'm going to need iron ore. It's going to be local demand and remote demand. Which, this thing's chewing it all up. And we're going to go for magnets. Magnets are also those. But I don't think I'm going to need quite as many. Oh, I'm not going to be able to build quite as many anyways, because I don't really have the room. Now let's go see where this is. Uh, yeah, that is centered. Good. So I can come all the way down here. Okay, so you guys are right there, and your center is right there. Oops. So I can bring you along to there. And this setup here is 36 furnaces long. And it actually, when full operating at full capacity, maxes just about maxes out the return line. So can't exactly go bigger than that. Just figured I'd give you that heads up. And 
let's start getting these laid out. Now the interesting thing is if you click to place the item like that, so it highlights, but you just hold it and you just run along and it'll place a whole bunch of them, but then it'll stop when it hits its capacity. Oops. Come on. I said do that. So it's an easy way of quickly laying out a bunch of structures when you need them. Now we can get our power poles cooked in. And we're going to set you copy you and if you get yourself lined up properly you can just keep running hitting the key for the uh, paste and not have to worry about uh, trying to select each one. Just little tricks to speed things up. There we go. So now let's get the uh, get these hooked up for output and then we'll start putting in the input. For the buildings, I've actually got them limited to usually they're uh, usually I've got them set so that they only produce a thousand of each building. Because the only time I'm really going to need them is when I'm either expanding the, the manufacturing planets or I'm setting up on a new planet. So really, I don't need a whole lot of them sitting on standby. Of course, there's things like the conveyors, stone slabs, and stuff like this that I left at 10,000 because, well, that's just useful. going to pull you out and you're going to pull out uh, iron for us. Let's get you fully placed. Okay. Now, uh, one thing to watch out for is uh, doing this building method. 
you can run out of power really quickly. It should be. Uh, I'm not quite in range of that one. Okay. Let's start getting the rest of the stuff hooked in. Now there is a certain range your drones can build from you. So that's why you weren't seeing iron until now, is because uh, part of the line isn't quite complete. There we go. Now that the iron's complete. Okay. And this is basically what it's going to be for all. Now I'm kind of limited in space on this particular side. Like I can do I can duplicate this over here, but over here I can't unless I want to lose part of my power band, which I don't really want to. Mainly because that's what's fueling everything. calling for like over a thousand of these a second. Well, you're not calling for much iron ore, but then again, that's what's constantly coming in, about 66. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the way it is. Now here, here we have two options. We can... Uh, bury the ore like that and use the space as build or we can keep it exposed like this and utilize it for ore really that's a kind of call that you yourself are going to have to make i can't tell you what's a good call and what's a bad call for that because well it really depends on how much of the material you have and whether you need more so, yeah. This is uh, definitely operating pretty, pretty good, but uh, again, running out of iron. Really gonna have to get those warpers in, f in, in effect. But still, I'll... Uh, get back to uh, working on that for a while. I don't want to delete you. Now let's uh, load up uh, Let's Play 2. And we'll do that for the next uh, 15 minutes or so. Just simply because you've well, seen me place the exact same buildings time after time after time. It's going to get boring. Uh, let's see, can I snug you in there just to, yes, 
There, that uh, helps your power out. Okay. So that's stone. I don't need to do anything with that yet. Wow, my mech moves so slow. Uh, let's see. No, that's not what I wanted. So that's stone. Copper's over there. So let's get some copper up and running. Oh, don't have one. Um, let's get you cooking. I got cooks, got those, got those. I'm going to need uh, another storage bin. How many of those gathers did I make? Only one. Okay. So let's get you uh, right about there. I'd be good. We'll also put, hook you into power. And we'll get our Actually, let's uh, just leave it down to two. Come over here, go to there. Get copper set up to you. And Let's see. You get a storage unit there. You can unload. You can unload. You can load. locked in so you're low on power what am I missing I think I'm missing me some iron Come on, finish building. You know you want to. that there that's gonna get all of you up and running fully okay so that's gonna get us copper sheets and let's see what's next well if I'm gonna go for start and get this stuff manufactured I'm gonna need gears And 
gears use a metal sheet <coughs> So let's get another storage unit. We'll uh, not put that there. And we'll probably end up putting that over there. Let's get uh, one furnace in place. I think we're then going to do that. You can make the iron plates. And then you can make gears. Give you your own power. Then your iron plates and iron gear is going to get us that. So uh, let's see here. That's about as far as I can get you to go. So we'll grab some of them some of them and I need some copper and we'll get another 10 of those Okay, so you're going to go from there to there. Get those two hooked up, so you're going to unload. And then we're going to get an assembly factory here. I'm going to put another storage unit here. You're going to go for the conveyor mark one. And chuck a power unit there. And that is going to get us our conveyors. So the next thing is, well, I'm going to want more power, which means I'm going to need uh, the magnetic coils, which means I'm going to need to pull that and copper really I run and set up a duplicate as far away as possible. Well, I'm going to go delete that one. Man, we move so slow at this time. Let's, uh... There we go. Let's put that storage there. So that's going to be for the copper. Let's put that there.
Too bad I can't purposely isolate the portions of power networks. That'd be a lot better. Really, you can complain. Let's put that there just to extend the power network. Okay, so if I can sneak, uh, I think I'm probably going to need to do that there. Put that there. I'm actually going to re restrict this one to that. You will assemble those, and I will undo that restriction, because it's not what I thought it was going to be. Okay. Now, let's see. I want more power, so it's, I'm going to need gears and the coil and iron sheets. So I'm going to need you, you, and you. Let's get a uh, that there. Pull those. And you can come from there over to there over to there. You can come there, there. Get that in place. Put that one there. And I need more of you. Restricted. And we're going to make ourselves more power. And of course, I need to actually put down something to get that more power. There we go. So now we've got transportation locked down. We've got uh, powered locked down for auto manufacturing. Next is, uh, well, next is going to be the uh, sorters. Because I kind of need them. But uh, I think that'll be probably next week if I don't have everything complete on uh, the world. So uh, till then, this is Zeofate signing out. Have a good one.